If you guys are looking for some cheap FIFA 20 coins, head over to u7buy.com. You can buy coins off the website. You can also buy players. So if you wanted Messi, you could buy him off the website. Make sure to use code MUZ at checkout for 5% off. Yes, lads, and welcome back to a brand new video. So, with footies around the corner, I have put together a little prediction. Before we do jump into the footies prediction, though, boys, I have got a lot of news in terms of, like, I'm going to update you guys on what footies is actually like, what happened last year, and stuff like that. Someone actually put together a really sick post. I recommend to go check it out if you want to go see the full details of it. Uh, produced this year, though, and he's literally, he literally just gone through all the things that happened last year. So, we originally got an ultimate team this season, June the 21st. We've actually had it at, like, June the, was it June the 6th or June the 7th. We had it early, so might we might get footies early we might get it i don't know if we'll get it instantly after ultimate team the season but we might get it like on the 21st or so uh, the actual footies because footies came out in july last year which is interesting we also got a free pack which we probably will get we've had i think we've had one free pack so far this fifa i'm pretty sure we had th yeah we had three last year i'm pretty sure we've only had two um well we've had one and then this will be the second Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and then what have we got here? Best of, obviously, best of packs, themed objectives. Very interesting. Um, obviously, all those are in packs as well. I don't know if you guys can remember. It's a very fun time of the year, to be fair. Uh, they just launch scream cards, back in packs, one to watches, UCL cards and stuff like that. Uh, we get a vote. They usually put together like three players. And uh, we've got a vote between them three players. So, And usually, I don't know if you guys, if you're completely new to this promo, it's basically... The most popular cards of the year that haven't had too many special cards. Like if they've had a team of the season like Ben Yedda or Neymar, they're not going to get in footies. But a player like, well, you guys have seen Malqui. Malqui's not the most popular, but I put him in because he's he's got footmas. Very nice links as well. And uh, I think a lot of people would love a Malqui. So I've only said Malqui because he's the first one and you've already seen him. So we also got um, an any one to watch. I remember that. I've packed Philippe Anderson from that and he was one of the best cards on the game. For the full year, he was so sick. Um, he's even even put the requirements. The detail that this guy's gone to, I won't go too in detail um, with everything, but we did get a flashback David Luiz. Apparently, that was a re-release, which is interesting. Another vote, I think Fred won that. I'm pretty sure. I did vote for Fred. And here we go, boys. This is the main thing I wanted to get into. I'm not, he hasn't put a date of this, but we did have foot swaps around uh, footies. And uh, I can remember, I did take Davinson Sanchez because I needed him. But the packs and stuff, we had... Um, a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack for one, Rare Mega Pack for three, Daniel Vass for, was that four or three? I can't really remember. I think that's three, it says. Promes for four, Ultimate Pack, a Jerome Boateng, Munir, Mid Icon, Mid Icon Pack for ten. That seems crazy, thinking about that now. Uh, Mid Icon Pack for ten. Hopefully, they do something like this, this FIFA. Bring like a, a Prime Moments Pack or something like that. And uh, yeah, so we had footies win it. Lozano and stuff like that so if you guys want to check that out anyway I'll leave that in the description I don't want to go too much in detail I just wanted to give you rough dates and roughly what happened last year so if we jump into the actual prediction we start off with a uh, Malqui we're starting off with the defense into the midfield and then into the uh, attack so Malqui I think would be absolutely sick I boosted him to a 91 from his 84 footmas very nice for links if you guys have got team of the season Manalas if you guys have got the Allen I'm sure a lot of people have got Allen the flashback Allen because he's there till the rest of the game he'll be very nice and he's also French so very nice for links I think that would be quite a popular one to get. So, Malqui's a bit of a 50-50 one, though. He's not been the most popular card this year, but I think a lot of people would be uh, happy with him. So, jumping to the next one, we've got, hands down, this guy would be the best right-back on the game, easily. I mean, his headline, it probably is still the best card on the game in terms of right-backs, uh, purely because he's just fast. His work rates are insane. Agile, he's just got everything. Passing's very nice and uh, overall just a, an absolute beast. And he's got good links too. So, Semedo would be unreal. 93 rated we went with as well. So, some of these ratings don't take too serious, by the way. I've gone with like a big boost, mainly because it's the last promo. Hopefully, they're nice to us. Don't make some of these cards too expensive and stuff if they do make it as an SBC. Um, I'm hoping they bring out some really sick SBC cards. So, like last year, we obviously could craft icons, prime icons. Give us like a, a Pogba. Give us like a 98 Pogba or something like that that we could craft. I think that would be so sick. Um, anyway, into the next one, we've got Mbabu. Mbabu was definitely popular at the start of the game. And his um, UCL cards, Europa League card, my bad. Europa League card was very, very good. So he would be a popular one to get. Him as a centre-back would be outrageous. It'd be decent at right-back, but I personally don't really like clunky right-backs. So as a centre-back, <sighs> dirty, dirty. Okay, into the next one, Furlan Mendy, arguably the most popular defender in 
could you say any FIFA in terms of like a low rated one? And it's crazy uh, me saying that because I've actually not used him once all FIFA. I'm not using once all FIFA. I think it's because I've had Icon Roberto Carlos, the baby version. I've played like 1,300 games with him or something, which is outrageous. So I could have had Carlos. I've never got around to using Furlan Mendy, but even till this day, bro, you see pros using Furlan Mendy in the team. Um, that's mainly in tournaments because they've got requirements. I know that, but still, like Furlan Mendy, maybe not now. That's probably a big bit exaggerated. But a few months ago, only a couple of months ago, people are still using this Furlan Mendy, which is outrageous. It just shows how good he is. So imagine he got a 92 card, five star weak foot. I think he's got has he got four star skills? He might have four star skills. I'm not too sure, but good links as well. What a card! Jump into the next one. This is again similar to Malqui, a bit of a 50 50. I was thinking of Premier League defenders. Joe Gomez is probably arguably the uh, most popular, especially at the start of the game. He was very OP, but Joe Gomez has got a team this season. Davinson Sanchez has only got, I think he's got a player moments card, so I thought, screw it. We'll get Davinson Sanchez a 94 card, boost him up massively. Whew, imagine that card, man. You, you'd need him to uh, link with like, icons and uh, Premier League players, but he would be very solid, absolutely rapid, and just overall an absolute powerhouse. Into the next one, we have got... Bro, I'm, I'm, I swear to God, if this guy gets a a footies, I, I don't want to play against it. Like, this guy, he, he only has an 85. He's not had a single special card, all fever. And he's 85. I'll still, because I play in low divisions, I, I come across him here and there. Not much, but here and there. I'd say he's probably top, I'll say top five most hated players to play against. I've always said he's got, like, a third leg. Like, I, I just can't get past him. He wins the ball back at the weirdest angles you'll ever see. And that's his 85. So if this guy gets a 95, I can't even look at it, boys. I can't. Apologies about the font, by the way. I used the uh, the UCL version, hence why the font's a bit different. So that length there, just don't. If he's 95 rated as well. Maybe I went too exaggerated. I'm not too sure. But anyway, jumping into the next one, we've got Suzuko. Surprise, surprise. Another special card. Um, I believe his last special card was foot, uh, foot birthday with a five-star weak foot. Um, but... I've boosted him from 88 to a 94. Do I need to comment? Do I even need to comment? I mean, this guy could play anywhere. Legit. Well, not anywhere. Probably centre back at CDM. Outrageous cards. Outra I'd love for this guy to get an SBC and we could craft it till the end of the game. That would be so sick. Sizoko would be sick. Jumping into the next one. I nearly went with Orsic. I was midway through putting Orsic in instead of Dan James. Um, but Orsic got a team of the season yesterday. So I thought, screw it. What's the point in having... Well, they're not going to do a team this season and a footy, surely. That's just pointless. So, I went with Dan James because Dan James' last card was the uh, the future star. And a lot of people love that future star. I personally didn't even use it, hardly. Um, not because I didn't like him, but I just... I think I had a headliner Adama at the time, so I, di I didn't really use him. But a lot of people love him, so I, I don't have much of a, an opinion. Four star, four star, absolutely rapid. I imagine he'll be absolutely insane if he does get a 93, whether it's a 92, 91... Again, I've boosted these cards massively, mainly because when footies is here, whether we'll get it in a week's time or whatever, it's going to be nearly Ju July. So if they don't juice these cards up massively, no one's getting them in the team. So hence why I've gone with the uh, huge boost. Okay, apologies. I don't want to waffle too much. So we'll jump quickly into the last few. We have got Ryan Kent. Again, I'm the sad guy that, uh, that didn't do the SBC, so I can't personally say he's insane. But everyone that's used him has said he's absolutely insane. So Ryan Kent. Again, I, I hope this guy's an objective or an SPC, a way we can get for free, like where, the way we can craft them. But I doubt it. And it, it, if he is on the market, bro, like there's not even me point in getting hyped. I'm not getting near this card. If this guy's on the market, if you're watching till the end, not many people do, but if you're still watching, let me know your price prediction on Ryan Kent. Because um, if he's on the market, he's going to be ridiculously priced. Even in the in the Scottish League. Because when, when cards are that hyped up, he's, he's going to be insanity in terms of his price okay into the final few we're into the last three now so Usman Dabele he has had a few special cards mainly at the start of the game he had like a few UCLs I believe he went up to an 87 in a UCL version uh, so I went with a huge boost I went him as like one of the stars of the promo um, five star five star again if this guy's on the market he will be so much five star five star and uh, insane links as well I mean I do I need to comment what a card what a card. His normal card was unreal. I used his normal card for months. Absolute beast. So jumping into the final few, we have got Firmino. Firmino has had a few informs, but that's it. I think he went up to an 89. He didn't get a team this season. And uh, 
but just just fell short of team this season. But we have put him in footies, 96 rated, five star skills now, four star weak foot. This card will be absolutely insane. You could honestly play him several positions. Striker, Cam, you could probably play him at centre mid as well. CDM at a push. Nah, no, not CDM, but um, as an attacking like midfielder, outrageous card. Outrageous. Okay, into the final few. I know this is a bit random, but I put these two at the end um, because I mentioned it earlier, but give us a Pogba. Pogba's not had many special cards. He has had a foot birthday. I know he's got a 90 rated f foot birthday, but this is mainly not really a prediction. Pogba, these last two are more like ones that I'd love as an SBC or an objective. They're never going to do a 97 as an objective, but hey, it's going to be July-ish when this card comes out. So if you bring him out to the end of the game, let us craft Pogba, like, please. I'd just love to have like a five-star. Is he five-star, five-star? I actually can't remember. He's, he's five-star skills, obviously. Um, but 97, just do it here. Please, just do it. And to end it off, a lot of you boys absolutely love this card all year round. My boy. Reese James. Yeah. It's, it's my last chance. All year I've been putting this guy in predictions. Future stars. Foot birthday. Everything. You've not put him in. You put Tamori in. Fair enough. We've had a lot of Chelsea special cards to be fair. Uh, especially in seasonal objectives. But my favourite player for Chelsea right now. And I can't, he hasn't got a special card. The only card he's added is a silver 73. So yeah. Please. I know the whole point of foot is, is for popular cards. But just give me a Reese James. Just purely for me. I'd appreciate that. So, anyway, that's what we end on, boys. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. If you've got any questions, do let me know. And also, let me know if I've missed any obvious cards. Um, just rem remember that footies, if they've already got a team of the season or a high-rated special card, most likely they're not going to be in. So, keep that in mind. But if I've missed any obvious ones, th there will be a few that I'm guessing. Um, but, yeah, let me know. So, if you guys could drop a like anyway, I'd appreciate that. Drop something if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.